5.6 is the fundamental theorem of algebra. And basically, we're going to get our feet wet today and just kind of dip our toes in. We want to talk about the number of zeros in a polynomial. So the first part of the question says, tell how many total zeros each polynomial has. This is really pretty easy because you just look at the degree. When you see that this is a degree four, or the biggest exponent on the x is four, that tells me how many zeros there are. There are um, four total zeros. Four total zeros. But then the directions say how many are real and how many are imaginary, and we don't know that, and so that's where Desmos comes in. Okay, what we want to do is we want to graph this. So here it is, x to the fourth. All right, so if you look at this picture, the real solutions are the x intercepts. And so we can see one and two. There are two real zeros, and we can see that from the graph. Two real, and that must mean that two of them are imaginary. So there are four total. Two of those solutions are real numbers, and two of them are imaginary. So they want you to draw a sketch. So let's draw a quick sketch of this. And when we do a quick sketch, we don't, we don't really care about details all that much. Just kind of show me what it looks like. It goes down and back up, and then down and back up. Looks like this. But we want to label the real zeros on this graph. So I'm going to put you know, highlight those two. And we know that that solution is at negative two. And this one is at negative 0.839. And that's approximate. That's rounded off. It's not, it's not perfect. They won't be nice numbers today. Look at another one. Very quickly, you can see that there are five total zeros. But what do they do? Okay, you can't really tell that yet until you come over here and look at the graph. So we look at the graph, and on that graph, you look for how many times it crosses. See how it crosses three times? I see three x intercepts, I see three real solutions, which mean there are two imaginary. Of course, three plus two is five. That's the total. So quick sketch. Looks something like this. And label those things. Might help to zoom in a little bit. I see 0.487, 1, 1 1.585. And really, that's it. That That's the whole lesson, pretty much. Okay. So we can do another one. We can see because of that degree, because of that number, there are four total zeros. Let's look at the graph though. How many real solutions are there? Two, that's right. And you can tell because of the x-intercepts. Too real, too imaginary. So we draw a quick sketch. This thing looks like this. Our real solutions are right there. Okay, The real numbers. Negative 1.466 
and positive one. Now remember, remember what imaginary means. Imaginary means that the, there's going to be the letter I in there, or there's going to be a square root of a negative. We've dealt with that before, but anytime there's an imaginary, it's because there's a square root of a negative. Your calculator won't even handle that. All right, that's going to be imaginary, and we can't see them on the graph. Imaginary. Number seven. Same thing. Degree three, we can see that there are three total solutions. So we look for how many of them are real. Looks like I see three reals. Three x-intercepts, three real solutions. In this case, there'd be zero imaginaries. And this looks like what we're used to. We've solved a lot of equations with real numbers. We haven't solved a lot of them with imaginaries. One, two, three. Three point two six eight. This one is five, and this one is six point seven three two. Let's do one more. We can see there are two solutions total. So we look at the graph. zero reals, right? It doesn't cross the x-intercept, so there can't be any reals. There are no real solutions. So you've done graphs before where you said no solution. No solution is a little bit misleading. It's no real solutions and two imaginary solutions here. And we'll deal with that here in, a, in the next couple of days. So we see the sketch. And there's nothing to label here because there aren't any real solutions. So they're only imaginaries. Now, one last thing to notice, something that happens to your imaginaries, it's always an even number. I don't know if you noticed that. I don't know about the real numbers, but the, but the imaginaries, there's going to be zero or two or four. There's always going to be an even number of imaginaries for whatever the problem is.